Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about how to determine the cardinalities of the regions in a two-set Venn diagram. So here we have your uh, classic Venn diagram. It has a rectangle to represent the whole universal set. And then within that universal set, some of the elements are in set A, some are in set B, and some might be in both. So we have two sets that are overlapping. We're given these little squares here are where we're supposed to fill in the number of elements that are in the four separate regions that the two set Venn diagram is always going to have. So when I'm talking about the four separate regions, um, in order to discuss it with you, I'm going to number the regions with Roman numerals. Roman numeral one looks like an I, that's a one. Roman numeral two looks like this. Roman numeral three looks like this. And Roman numeral four has a V for five with a one to the left of it to say one less than five. So that's four. The reason why I'm using those symbols is because I don't want to put numbers in here, you know, the, our traditional Arabic numbers, because we reserve those types of numbers for telling how many elements are in each of the regions. So it doesn't matter how I number the regions. I'm just doing it so I can talk to you about it. So here's region one. I'll call this region two. I'll call this region three. And I'll call this region Roman numeral four. Um, now what I want to make clear is that the set A consists of both region one and region two. If you uh, look at the information we're given, which we're gonna go over in a minute, but just as an example, set A is supposed to contain 24 elements. So it might be that, for example, we have 12 elements in region one and 12 in region two, that would add up to 24. Or it might be that we have 10 in region one and 14 in region two, that would add up to 24. It could be that we have zero in region one and all 24 of the elements of A are in region two. We just don't know yet until we analyze the information that we're given. Set B actually is comprised of region two and region three. And then the set U, the universal set, that is made up of all four regions, not just this little piece outside of the circles. A lot of times people think that U is representing this piece. No, it's all of the pieces. Imagine this was a puzzle and like one of those, you know, those little wooden puzzles you played with when you were a kid. You could take this apart and there would be four pieces of wood that represent the different regions. U is not just that piece that comes out from the outside. No, U is all four of the pieces. Okay, so with that in mind, let's look at the information we're given. We are told that the number of elements in the set A is 24, the number of elements in the set B is 18, the number of elements in A union B is 32, and the number of elements in A complement is 11. We're supposed to use this information to somehow figure out how many elements are in each of these sets. Now, what I normally recommend is that you look for one of these facts that relates to a single region because that makes it easier. Like for example, if they had given us A intersect B, that would just be region two and I would know what number and I'd put it in there. Unfortunately, if we look at each of these facts that were given and we actually label the regions that they are telling us about, we see that none of these is just a single region. A, we already said is regions one and two. B, we already said it comprised of regions two and three. A union B, union means put it all together into one big set. So that's gonna be one, two, and three. All three of the pieces of A and B put together. And A complement means everything outside of A. So that means if we leave out regions one and two, A complement is regions three and four. So none of these is actually just a single region. What we can do is we can use the information we are given right here to find A intersect B. There is something called the cardinal number formula. The number of elements in A union B, we would find by taking the number of elements in A plus the number of elements in B, but that would count region two twice. So we have to subtract off the intersection. This is often useful if you have 
three of these facts, but not the fourth. In this case, we have the union, we have A, we have B, but we don't have the intersection, and we would really like to have that so that we can identify how many are in a single region and then use that to get the other regions. A union B we know has 32. So 32 equals A has 24 plus B has 18. And then we don't know this one. All right, so 24 plus 18 would be 42. So 32 equals 42 minus the number in A intersect B. Now you can solve it like an equation, but what number would you have to subtract from 42 to get 32? 10, right? So that must mean that the number in A intersect B is 10. So let's go ahead and put that value up here. Here's region two, remember, is the intersection or overlap of A and B. So we know 10 goes there. So now we're gonna use each of these facts to fill in the other regions. For example, we know that there are 24 elements in set A. And we know that set A is comprised of both region one and region two. So if there are 10 in the intersection, and 24 overall in set A, that must mean that if we take, take away 10 from the 24 total that are in A, that would leave 14 that are in region one. Okay, let's cross that off, we've used that fact. Now let's move on to what we know about set B. For set B, we're told we have 18 elements all together. Now remember set B includes regions two and three. If there are 18 total in set B and we've used 10 of them, that must leave eight that are in region three. Now we have region one, two, and three, and we just need to find region four. We have two more facts that could potentially help us. One is A union B equals 32. Let's see, well, that makes sense because 14 plus 10 is 24 plus eight is 32, but we've already used that, so that was what we used for our cardinal number formula. So what's left here is the number of elements that are not in a means region three and four that are not in A. If we know there are 11 elements in A complement, but eight of them are in region three, that must mean that 11 take away eight leaves three elements that are out here in region four. So now we have all of our cardinalities of each of our regions labeled. 14 in region one, 10 in region two, eight in region three, and three in region four. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.